and welcome back to the Korean Mode series. Today we're at Silverstone for the British Grand Prix. And we're going to cut on to the end of our first lap in Q1, which puts us into P3 and into Q2. And now we cut on to our lap in Q2, and we go into P7, which puts us into Q3. And now cutting on to our first lap in Q3, which puts us current P2, but we're going to go for another lap to try and improve on the position of P4. We're going to go across the line, professional P1, but let's see where we are on the grid. With that then, let's run through the grid order. It was a good showing from Red Bull in qualifying, and Daniel Ricciardo starts from pole position, and Nico Rosberg completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Raikkonen, Sebastian Vettel, and Verstappen, Bottas, and the Toro Rosso, Sainz, and Jensen Button, Perez, Alonso, Felipe Massa, and Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Rojo, Julian Palmer, and Pascal Wehrlein. So as we're starting in P8 for the British Grand Prix, and it's five lights and away we go. And it looks like Bottas is on a very good start from P7, and he's overtaken the Red Bull of Max Verstappen already as we go into Turn 1. We get a bit held up there, so we probably won't be able to make the move into the third corner. But cutting on later into lap 1, we've got a good run off Verstappen from the long right-hander. We're going to go into the old Turn 1 side by side. And we make the move for P7 for the moment. And now cutting on to lap 2. And it looks like Vettel and Rosberg are side by side. Going into this next corner. The, will that get us a good run on Bottas? Yes it does. Obviously we go side by side. But we have to go behind. But can we make a move up the inside this time? And it looks like we've made the move stick. As the two drivers ahead are still side by side. But then Vettel slots in behind the Mercedes driver, but can we get some good slipstream off of the two drivers? Vettel also make, pulls out on Rosberg, and it's three wide into this right-hander, and we have overtaken Rosberg and Vettel. But now cutting on two lap six, and we are going to go into the pits to change on to a set of medium tyres, and that is a decent pit stop from the crew there. But now we're going to cut on to lap eight, and we're under pressure from Sebastian Vettel. Going into the left hander, we hold it around the outside to possibly keep the position, but Vettel's going to keep it around the outside of the long right hander, and he is still there, very surprisingly, and he gets a good run off the corner, and that is a very good move from Vettel on us there. But now cutting on to lap 13 as Perez is out of the race, let's see what has happened to him, and it, it is an engine blowout for the force India driver and he goes off to the right hand side of the track for him and that is a retirement for the Mexican driver but now cutting on to lap 16 and we are in the pits once more and this time it's for a set of hard compound tyres and we get held up by the Mercedes of Nico Rosberg now cutting on to lap 17 as we have the DRS on Felipe Nazar and it's quite a simple move going into this right hander and we're now up into P11 but cutting on to lap 19 as Button and Rosberg are going relatively slowly and we are able to overtake both of them going into turn 3 but now cutting on to lap 19 as we're under pressure from Nico Rosberg once more and he has overtaken us for P7 for the moment and we have to stick behind him for just now but now we're going to cut on Top 21 and the safety car has been deployed. I'm not really sure what for, but we're going to cut on to the restart in lap 24 
as we go up the inside of Valtteri Bottas. And I think he's still up the inside, but no, we've made the move. We're cutting on to lap 25, as Rosberg and Raikkonen are side by side. Now they go into the old turn one, and it is Rosberg who has come out on top, and that has slowed them both down. And can we overtake the both of them? We're side by side with Rosberg, going into maggots and beckers, and we make the move stick, as Rosberg is the first to yield. But cutting on to the last lap of the race, and we have been overtaken by Nico Rosberg on the hangar straight once more, going into this right hand. But can we get some good traction off the corner, going into the last braking zone? Of the race, we go up the inside, into the corner, it's side by side stuff, who's going to get the better traction, as the checkered flag is out, it looks like it's Rosberg, and he's going to get P5, and we have to settle for P6, which is still not a bad position to finish. And if you did enjoy this episode of the Creamwood series, do leave a like, share the video around, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more F1 videos, including this series and the Sergio Perez career. So I'll see you next time for that, and goodbye.